Welcome back. So we have prepared our profit and loss statement, but the limitation was we were only seeing one single column of data. And we want to present all different years here column by column. Well, we can do that by typing the pivot function. But before we go there, we got to ensure that we have all the years here in the data itself. So first of all, let us remove this date function from date filter from here and press F5 so that we have all the data. And then we also need to present years here in call in the rows here so that we can then filter them into the columns. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here and I would say let us also bring in the year and we have to bring the year from date. So press comma and this should do and before we press F5 we got to keep in mind if the column is appearing here it must also be appearing in the group by column so let us type that here as well so I would go back and I would say year and date and this should do now let us press F5 and I should be seeing the year column here and we can see that the column is there but there's no name so I can add that so I will go back and I would say as year and press F5 and now you can see we have the data as intended. So this table is ready. From this table we just have to do one thing and that is to pivot the data for years from here to the columns. So let us start typing that. This query is gonna become the subquery. So let us start typing from the top select report class account we need to see all of that I don't want to see co year column in my new report so I will not bring that in here so I would say report class account and then after that I would say year 2018 and then year 2019 and then year 2020 so this is all done and we have to bring that from all of this subquery right and I hope you remember that whenever we make a subquery we have to give it a table name so I would say table 1 so now it is uh, looking like that select report class account 18 19 20 from all of that but now we have to apply the pivot function which will basically do the magic and that function is pivot word pivot the sum of amount this particular thing right pivot sum of amount let me remove this bracket for the moment sum of amount for what for year in in what and now apply this bracket and then in that bracket we will be typing in all of these three years so I can copy paste to save some time and then you know this bracket has been closed here but don't forget we need to close the pivot bracket as well and after we do that we need to make it we need to give this one a name as well as table 2 right so now let us read it all together just give me a second please let me adjust it okay so select report class account 18 19 20 that is the format of my final report from this query but when you present me this query please do me a favor and that is pivot the sum of amount in from this query into years for 18 19 and 20 and let us press f5 and you can see there is a problem and that problem is this order by clause so i actually have to remove this order by clause from this subquery order by clause cannot remain in the subquery so let me just remove that for a moment we can do that again later on in our final report so let us do the f5 now and you can see that this query is working now and this report is being presented in the way we like we have three columns 18 19 and 20 and everything is looking as expected finally let us also format these numbers as comma separated values with zero decimals and for that we will need to wrap these column names into the format function let me show you how let me first take them to the next line and then let's start from here 
first we need to write the format function and then within that brackets we need to type the column name that is 2018 then press the comma and then in inverted commas we will write n0 and then let us delete 2018 from here and now let us press f5 and see what we get so you can see that this column has been formatted but the only problem is the column name has gone so no worries we can do that now as 2018 we need to write that in the inverted commas and press f5 to see if it is working now yes it is so for 2019 and 20 we need to do the same thing again but i will just save some time by copying this from here i'm sorry format let us copy this from here the complete thing and then we can paste it at this place for 2019 and comma again for 2020 let us just edit the values 2019 here and 2019 here and then 2020 here and then 2020 here and of course we need to delete the column names from here now so it should do perfect so let us re read select report class account and then 2018 as 2018 formatted in this style and then 2019 as 2019 formatted in this style and 2020 as 2020 formatted in this style press run and you can see you have the complete profit and loss statements ready since i already have them sorted correctly i don't need to sort them again but if your report is not properly sorted you will need to apply the order by command here order by account key but before you do that please remember you will need to bring in the account key here in this report first it was available in your sub query but in final report it's not available so if you want to sort the final report based on account key you will have to bring that here first so type account key here and then also order by account key here but in my case the, uh, the report is already correctly sorted so i don't need to do anything further finally before we wind up let us make sure one thing and that is we need to check if our values are correct or no because you know we are at the learning phase we have to be caref very careful about our workings and to check the values i already have provided you an excel file where you can compare your values against so let me navigate there so you can see your uh, report here in profit and loss statement in excel format here in this report and we need to compare the values of sales with the value of sales but please be careful when you are using this file so we have to you know if you are comparing this value this value is already netted off with sales return so we can't take a look at the top line figure since you are comparing the value of sales which is different from the sales return it has not been netted off you will be working on this value here so you can compare 3694 374 5856 210 and 8005347 so you will be able to utilize this file let me make it full screen you can apply different kind of slicers when you are applying your you know uh, you are filtering down your data and then you will be able to compare your excel file results with your sql query so i hope that you have found the preparation of your first financial report that is profit and loss statement very interesting